<clears throat> mm. Well, it's nice to be back on my infidel channel. I apologize I haven't done anything in a while. It's been kind of busy. Uh, I just retired, but yeah, I've been going through a lot of stuff and and I've been taking up gardening and yeah, a lot of trying to get myself back into shape again. And I've been putting things on my YouTube channel, The Happy Camper, which is wouldn't interest most of you, I think. It's just like a scrapbook channel where, you know, ooh, deer, snap a picture, you know, whatever. It's just me going to museums or anything that's interesting that has nothing to do with anything except it's probably about history or outdoors. And it's something I was checking out, so I thought I'd share, you know, like trips to the Grand Canyon, shit like that. Uh, yeah. I've been putting trail cam uh, comp compost compositions up. No uh, big feats yet, but uh, lots of deer and fox, and it's interesting. Um, this channel, it's important to me in that, you know, there are people that actually watch. Not a lot, but you know, some of my stuff's gotten some, gotten looked at and been commented to. I mean, really, that's what I'm hoping for is the feedback, even, you know, good, bad, indifferent. I mean, I just, I don't censor people, you know, it's, um, I listen. I'm a very good listener, actually. Yeah, I'm quite a talker. Anyhow, I've been downsizing at my place. You know, so many things to do. Um, and... Um, I've been keeping things that I might make a, a rant video about. And a while back, I I went to Cal Expo. God, it was probably in the early 2000s. I don't know for sure. I don't remember. There's a video on YouTube. If I find it, I'll link to it. And it's pretty close to there. It's a, I, I got this uh, at the Cal Expo that day. The glorious grand. Not my favorite copy. I've been gifted this book many times, but if, I don't like the layout. I don't like, I'm not going to be reading the Arabic. And um, yeah, it just, it isn't readable for me. It, it, it's not a comfortable read. Fortunately, I have other copies, but I keep it because it was a gift. I've always been given Korans. <laughs> Same thing as a Book of Mormon. I've never had to pay for one. I, People have given them to me, and I still have them. I haven't thrown them any of them away. I painted some gold and got drunk reading them. Yeah, I turned it into a drinking game. It's here. A lot of them got, a lot of the videos were taken down. You know, I guess they thought I got out of line or something. Uh, but I got this at the Islam booth that day. And uh, actually, they're splendid people. I enjoyed talking with them. And, God, it could be 15, 20 years ago for all I... I can't really tell you. But I've had this a long time. And, um, okay, I'm going to start off. Front page has a uh, Surah. Surah 96, verses 1 through 5. And it starts off pretty damn pushy. Read! In the name of your Lord who created. Created man from clinging cells. Read! And your Lord is most bountiful. The one who taught with the pen. They capitalized the P in pen. A writing utensil, right? Didn't know God required one. Um, yeah. The one who taught with the pen taught man what he did not know. Wow. Hmm. Okay, and there's a little explanation down here. Good to be thorough. Foreground, above left. Muslims believe that these were the first five verses that God revealed to Prophet Muhammad over 
1400 years ago. Well, that's really interesting because it's Surah 96. But, you know, I always heard that they didn't care about the order. Oh, I can't believe this shit. It's starting to rain. <laughs> it's been like 100 degrees. And even today, it's been muggy and awful. We've had spritzings of rain. It's like a nuisance rain, even. It's like, but I'm under an, I'm under an awning. Let's see if that holds up. Um, hopefully no lightning. It's been crazy dry. No rain. This is like the first rain. And I picked that day to uh, get active with YouTube again. With this kind of new stuff. This channel. I've been thinking about it for a long time, though. And, you know, with such a small viewership, if you're a viewer and you can comment, you have tremendous power. You know, and no Patreon required. Because I'm not here to make money. This is just me goofing off. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, suggestings you might like. I could read the Quran. All right. Anyway, uh, the, the, this picture here, Muhammad received this divine message while meditating in a cave on the mountain of light outside Mecca. And that's it. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. All right. And... This is a, it's going to be a little piece of work, I think. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I, I just love these. I'm not even sure what order to go in half the time, but all right, I'll work it out. Islam simply means to achieve peace. Well, that is an interesting definition. I guess it's a, a flexible thing because I always heard it meant submission. And once you totally submit, well, you're at peace because <sighs> sweet surrender and all. Peace with God, peace with oneself, and peace with the creations of God. I can make peace with them? Not all of them, right? Through wholly giving oneself to God and accepting his guidance. Yeah. Let yourself go. Lose yourself. Become it. Islam is not a new faith. No, and it's the same old song and dance. Just a different degree, maybe. Let's heard a roll of thunder. Interesting. I'm outside making a video. <laughs> uh, I, who said I'm smart? I didn't. Muslims believe that it is the same truth that God revealed through all his prophets to every people. You know, some truths are self-evident. Like the golden rule, which goes back probably to the Stone Age for all we know. Because it makes sense. It's like that's where empathy comes from. Walk a mile in someone else's shoes, all that. Mm -mm. For a fifth of the world's population, Islam is not just a personal religion, but a complete way of life. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to break this up. I think maybe I need to go indoors. Although I'm crazy enough, I might do one more anyway. But anyway, I want to keep this in smaller chunks. So stay tuned.